Hello, I'm Andrew Smith from the UK Open University. This is the third of three short videos showing you how to create a class. The first video showed you how to create the class itself. The second video showed you how to publish the class. This third video is showing you how to add students to the class. So we're back at the home page in the Teach tab, and all you need to do now is click on Edit. As you see, you've got the ability to edit your class details, the people who are teaching the class, as well as your student details. And here we've got this edit button. If you click on edit, you will see that you can add a new student where you can hand add them. You can add existing students or you can upload a CSV. The add seats means that you can generate tokens for the students where they can self enroll. Some academies do this, some academies don't. It's entirely your own choice. I'm going to focus on the um, add new and upload a CSV because adding existing students is something you can do when they're already enrolled in your Cisco Academy. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out, click on add new, and wait for it. So this is quite a straightforward process where you can put in their first name, their last name. They must have a unique email address, whether it's a school email or a personal email, and your ID can be locally significant. It could be the number one. You could add another student, it could be the number two, and so on. It really doesn't matter. The important part is, is that you will just hand add these in. I've done it in classes where I've asked students just to come over to the computer and add their details. This works well with adult students. With younger students, you may have a different process. Obviously, I'm just going to click on back and skip out of this because I have not added any students to my class. Same goes if I wanted to add them um, as a CSV. Oh, I've got a comma, comma separated values file. Cisco only require you to create a CSV that's got first name, last name, email address, and student ID. Again, that student ID could be the numbers 1 to 100. From experience, I've managed to upload a CSV of around 600 students, and it's worked no difficulty. Cisco recommend that you do not do any more than a thousand, but that doesn't mean it won't do any more than a thousand. I think they think that just might be beyond the point at which um, it is reliable. With the CSV, I have my own students at the Open University and I can pull a spreadsheet and we do last name, first name, so we do swap it around. It's quick and it's easy to generate and most of you have got student management systems that you'll be able to use this. Once they're in, if they are new students, they will automatically get an in invitation from Cisco to come and join the um, academy and as soon as they create their profiles they'll see the class. If they're existing students and you've done it by this method they will get no email whatsoever but as soon as they log in they will see the class. So Cisco look after the creation of new profiles by this mechanism and for established students what it does is just does nothing but then they will know because you will tell them that the class is available and they will go and log in and see it. So hopefully you found this very useful. Thank you very much. I am Andrew Smith from the UK Open University.